Ending, I am extremely disappointed in. Hey, Navy Nice, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be doing a movie review uh, about a movie that took me a very long time to watch, but I finally got to watch it, and that is Prey. Uh, first, I have to say that I think this was probably the best Predator movie ever since the first Predator film in the franchise. This movie is actually a prequel to the whole Predator franchise. This is where we're going to see the Predator do his very first hunt on Earth back in the back into the 1700s. And this is where the Predator is going to not only battle the elements, you know, like animal looking stories, but uh, get his first taste of uh, hunting humans on Earth. And those humans well, it happens to be uh, the Native American uh, community. It does showcase the, uh, the Native American community and it puts it in a well-deserved uh, spotlight, and which has been happening lately in the last couple of years. And it's well-deserved. They, they deserve to be in the spotlight. Even though, in my opinion, that is uh, 50 years too late. And I'll get to, uh, to that reason later in a minute. But... At least they're getting uh, the attention and the, uh, the spotlight that uh, that they deserve. Uh, in 1973, in the Oscars, which is you know well before I was born, there was a protest happening for a protest against the Oscars for the Native American community. Marlon Brando won an award for uh, his performance on uh, Godfather, and he gave up his award to. The Native American community, uh, most importantly to uh, Native American actors, her name is uh, Shaitine uh, Lightfeather, and, oh, did I get that right? Yes. And uh, she came up to, you know, give her thoughts on what's, uh, you know, what's going on with Native Americans and, and in film and television, uh, she felt that uh, the Native American community was being mistreated in film and in TV in Hollywood. And with cause, you know, mystery actions. Now, 50 years later, guess what? The Oscars, they decided to apologize to her about the mistreatment of uh, Native Americans. Now, I know this is not like way off the point of what I'm trying to do here, with, you know, with the movie review, but it does kind of drive home uh, to the fact that Native Americans are finally getting uh, the respect and dignity that they. Uh, Honestly, in my opinion, that they, they deserve so, and we get to see that in this movie. Um, it does avoid the very first tropes that the the very first predator uh, tried to do. You know, when you're trying to figure out who's going to die first, and even though in this movie we're dealing with some unknown actresses and actors, um, there's only one actress in this movie that I'm aware of, and that is uh, Amber Mid Thunder, who does a terrific job uh, in this movie. I have seen her before in a movie called The Ice Road, I think it was called. Uh, that's on Netflix right now. And she uh, pulled off a terrific performance on that one. And, you know, seeing her in this uh, strong female character, uh, which is, you know, adds another notch to the movie. I do believe that there is a connection between these Native American, I think they're, they're, they're Comanches, and Billy's character, or the, the character Billy in Predator that was played by uh, Sin, Sonny uh, Landham. And I do believe uh, he, uh, he was Comanche also, so I think there's, this is the same bloodline. Uh, it's an absolutely terrific movie, I actually liked it. It's directed by the guy who did the Cloverfield series. I've never seen him, but uh, he did that. He did, one, he did a wonderful job on that. The only thing I am... Um, extremely disappointed in is that this movie was not released on the big screen it was not released on theaters it was released on Hulu I was kind of disappointed by that even though this movie was made with a middle budget you know not really a small budget but a middle budget it was like made with 60 million dollars I think it, it would have made a big splash on the big screen so and then probably right then even maybe hopefully I think it would have probably would have raked in at least twice the money as, as much as put, as much as I put in, and uh, that's the only thing I was disappointed in was not released in theaters. 
other than that, great movie. I loved it. It was a, you know, again, the best movie ever since Predator. And I think there are talks about a sequel. I, I could be wrong, but um, if there is, I'll watch it. Uh, that's all I got for you guys. So go watch Prey. It's very, very good. I enjoyed it. And the Native American community is getting that respect that it deserves. So much love to the Native American communities. And that's all I got for you guys. Go check out the movie. So live long and prosper. May the force be with you. Be excellent to each other. All races. Be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes. And I'll see you guys on the bounce. Yeah.